Greetings, unsettled souls! Go! Welcome to the correct views. All right, friends, listen to this. China alters metal count. I lost my article. China alters metal count to include Hong Kong, Taiwan to unofficially claim the gold medal dominance over the U.S. Under the IOC rules, Hong Kong and Taiwan, referred to as Chinese Taipei, compete independently as National Olympic Committees. Um, the same thing is happening in China that's happening here. The left is sore losers. Again, you can't get much more left than communist China. What's interesting is that Taiwan and Hong Kong, who are massively smaller, and they're looking at a lot less money, did phenomenal, phenomenal, in the Olympics. The United States didn't do as well as they normally do. And wouldn't you look at who did a lot of the losing? Thank you, Rapineau. Yeah, the girls' soccer team died on the field. This is the same amazing soccer team that wants a lot more money to play when they were beat by 14 and 15 year old male soccer players. They suck. They're terrible. But they have politics. They have the leftist ideal. So that's what's being, you know, pushed here. And of course, they're horrible at sports, as you can see. One of the few people that are leftist and crazy who are good at sports is LeBron. But at that level of talent, even Jordan said, you know, there are some people who are, you know, they have to do a lot of work to get where they are, but they're born with a certain amount of that talent. Most people have to work for it very, very hard, and that takes ideals with the left, in most cases, simply does not have. I'm sorry, they just don't. And you see it in the losing. So what, what, what's the left want to do whenever they lose anything? Well, we see it with censorship. If you say the wrong thing about vaccines, you get censored. If you say the wrong thing about same-sex marriage, you get censored. If you don't win the uh, if you if you don't win enough uh, medals to make yourself proud, then you simply take somebody else's. It's basically leftist taxation anyway. If you can take someone's money, why can't you take the medals? Team USA dominated the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This is from Fox News, as you can see on FactCam. Winning both the overall medal count and gold medal tally, but Chinese state media has altered those figures in a way to assert itself as the gold medal leader. That's it. No, America's not going to be winning if we continue to have people like Rapinoe on our teams. Just give us time and we'll be, you know, bottom of the list. Images of the Chinese social media platform Weibo and China Central Television have circulated on Twitter this week, showing an altered media, metal count excuse me, that includes hardware taken home from Hong Kong and Taiwan, according to media reports. You get the point. So the U.S. 39, China 38, ROC 20, Great Britain 22, and Japan 25. By comparison, the U.S. earned 39 gold, 41 silver, 33 bronze for the overall. So basically, here's what's happening. China has this massive, massive population. But there's problems. Many of them grew up under a famine. Many of them grew up under the pseudo-facts that you find from leftist organizations in China, just like we do here. We just covered Snopes a little bit ago. It's posted here on Opera News. Leftist drivel being sold as facts. Everybody gets a trophy. Now, I don't know if China does that, but you get the point. This is what left leftist ideology pushes. It's what, it, it's what its goal is. So everybody gets a trophy. Everybody's good. Everybody's special. The trouble is when you step out there on that field, if you're not one of the best of the best you're going to get creamed, regardless of whether or not you kneel when the greatest song ever written was played over the loudspeakers. And I mean that in terms of uh, message. Let me ask you something. I have in my life, tattoo is to keyboards, I have, not as much as I used to because life sort of went south, but um, from the ages of about eight or nine, I was addicted to keyboards music, anything like it. I then went and um, 
started taking lessons. Uh, my father was my teacher. I did, you know, I'd say from about the ages of 11 to about 16. I then, uh, much later, went to college and uh, took music theory classes and a number of other things when I got an IMT degree. Do you think my political stances make any difference when it comes time for me to take that keyboard onto a stage somewhere? Because it doesn't. Now, I might be singing about something that may anger somebody, but in terms of my ability to play, I can either play or I can't. That's one of the reasons I, I'm one of the keyboardists for Green Jello. For those of you that don't know, Little Pig, Little Pig, let me in. Um, the core member of that band tours the country and the world all the time and brings various members with him. But the, the band itself is made up of whatever musicians are in that market who already have been invited to play with him and know their music. So fans can be in the band if they play well. That's why I like the band. There's no, there's no politics in Green Jello. Everybody believes something different. I wouldn't be surprised if some people believe in the mighty moon men who live on the moon made of green cheese, the mice men. I have no idea. I know it does matter. It matters that I know how to play my keyboard. Now, green jello music isn't hard, but there's lots of room to play and have fun with it. What matters is the time you put in to your craft before you take it to the field and before you take it to the stage. Otherwise, you will be left like China, trying to steal your victories from other people who have rightfully earned it. You may even call it taxation. Good night, friends. God bless. Thank you for listening to The Correct Views. Please hit share. I need you to hit subscribe, and you can donate at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com through PayPal. Good night, friends. God bless.